San Francisco, I think, is unique in that we have such a diversity of, of people and of neighborhoods in a pretty small, compact little area. It, there's so, just so many layers of richness to the city. You know, you could just peel and peel and peel. And even to this day, I could still go to different neighborhoods and, and see things I've never seen. Oh, it's a great city. It's a beautiful city. It's a romantic city. I grew up here, met my wife here, got married here. All my kids were born here. Put a smile on your face and get out of bed and go do what you love to do. I never thought of myself as riding a bike um, or as a bicyclist. Uh, but I never really rode a bike in the city until I moved here to San Francisco. My name is Neil Patel. Uh, I'm a transportation planner with the SFMTA. My parents were very progressive growing up, so I just sort of learned from a very young age that everybody gets a chance and that not everybody, and everybody doesn't start off equal. Uh, my name is Dara Geckler. I am the Director of Strategic Integration. My focus is HIV prevention. The biggest case, like a groundbreaking settlement reach last year, is for a, a Chinatown restaurant. We reached for $525,000 in one single check for seven workers. They're so happy, yeah. That, it definitely changed their life. I'm Robin Ho. I'm compliance officer for the Office of Labor Standard Enforcement in the city and county of San Francisco. I had no intention of uh, working in wastewater treatment, being that I played around a treatment plant as a kid, knowing Southeast Plant, we could smell Southeast Plant for, you know, a mile away. My name is Maverick Madison. I am a electronic instrumentation technician. I know how that feels to, to be in a, in a place and, and to be forced out of it, you know, because there's an unsafe condition in the living environment. We got hit with an 8.1 earthquake, uh, destroyed the city, thousands of people died. It rendered our home structurally unsound. I actually never, we never went back to it. My name is Barbara Lopez. I'm a housing inspector for the city of San Francisco. You take so much for granted, like when you get dressed how you find it so easy and you don't even think about it. Hello, how's it going? How's the knee feeling? But to somebody else, it takes them an hour or two to get dressed because of the injuries that they've had. I'm Kristen Bel Castro. I'm a physical therapist at San Francisco General Hospital. Also being the county hospital, we work with patients who are unhealthy San Francisco, patients who are marginally housed or homeless. All the patients that live in SROs. There's something very beautiful about a city that opens itself to, to new people coming in. You know, the San Francisco is like a big first step stone for the new immigrants. I moved here without really knowing much about the city. I only had one friend, but in the, in the almost seven years that I've lived here since, uh, I can't really imagine living in any other city. Like my parents could come from the South and save a little money, buy a house, live what they call the American dream, and uh, raise uh, seven kids. The difficult part is that we're living in a time which is very hard between landlord and tenant communications, and we're right smack in the middle of it. And especially if you see children or seniors or disabled, you want to make sure even more so that that environment is suitable for people to be living in. You take that weight with you. And I think that's the most challenging part of our work is being able to separate and not take those emotions home with you at the end of the day. As myself, as an immigrant, I know how, how big of a challenge they face and how hard for them just brave enough to come forward to file a complaint because the fear of the retaliation. The most amazing thing is, is really those stories of people who say, like, wow, that change, you know, really made a difference in my everyday life. Now I feel so much safer. I can ride my bike with my child. I mean, I had another patient who had a gunshot wound and had a spinal cord injury. He's never going to walk again. With him, it was a very hard struggle of coming to terms with what life's going to be like. You're going to have a wheelchair, you're going to be able to go out in the community, you can still have your daughter sit on your lap, you're still going to enjoy life and be able to be a part of your family's life. I think about a six months or a year later, it was like he tried to get in contact with us and he was just like, thank you so much. 
you showed me life again. I used to work as a consultant and ultimately I decided that I wanted to work for the city. I wanted to do that kind of work full time. When you're a consultant, you don't get to engage really with community. You're much more distant from it. And it's important me, to me to make an impact. And I, I really do enjoy when we have a case that we resolve. And you walk in and you, you know, you went to a place and it was covered in mold and lead. And you go back and, you know, the work is done and it's completed and it looks great and you feel happy about it. I think I should use my skill to help out those people. But everybody comes together and has the passion for the city. Everybody has different walks of life, but yet we all come here and can love one city. A San Francisco for everyone. San Francisco for everyone. A 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 San Francisco for everyone.